Everyone, thank you, Peter. Um, when I first started sailing 18 footers here, PJ was down on the wharf calling the radio. Tended to make uh, sailing boat races interesting, and uh, we've progressed on through the America's Cup. Thanks, Peter. Um, look, it's my job to uh, come up here and thank everyone today for helping realise this dream. Um, I uh, was appointed to this position in September last year, and you know I quickly ventured up to San Francisco, um, where I met Mark, and uh, and then off to Walkworth and and uh, to see the best laid out plans for this magnificent boat. And that was at the end of September. Um, and uh, when you see the complexity of a boat like this and the complexity of how a boat like this is built and the fact that there hasn't really been one of these built before um, to come up with all of the technologies, uh, all of the design um, and to get it here by January is truly a remarkable achievement. So the hours, the coordination, the brilliance of the designers this boat to have now been sailing for a few weeks with uh, no failures, um, no shortcut days, it's been out and as the Mayor said to be uh, travelling down the harbour at uh, warp speed um, in pretty fresh winds is, is a remarkable outcome for us to be sitting here and looking at this boat today. So um, to Mark and Tim and, and then the people at uh, Walkworth and, and all the other suppliers as part of the marine industry, uh, we thank you very much. Um, this is a showcase boat, it's a signature of I think what New Zealand marine industry is all about. Um, you know, we go to the Monaco boat shows, we see the beautiful super yachts and everything, but this is really taking the aircraft industry side of the marine industry to a new limit, and that's what I see up in Walkworth, and that's what the vacuum cleaners and the no broom process is all about. These guys have brought these skills and knowledge, um, having spent a lot of time up in Seattle near Boeing, they've very much brought a new industry, I think, to New Zealand and are leading the way. And this will be an ideal boat to showcase, showcase that technology, not only for the New Zealand marine industry, but it also showcases what the new America's Cup's all about. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's world leading in what we do. So thank you, New Zealand uh, marine industry, for, for what we have here today. As part of the trialling process, um, uh, America's Cup Race Management were handed this boat on Friday um, and uh, to Jimmy and the team from Oracle Racing for trying to smash it up but not succeeding. Um, certainly providing some magnificent footage, um, some media which has gone out all around the world for the people in Auckland who've seen the boat. Um, I think it's very much the honey pot for everyone to be attracted to and uh, certainly we all live in awe of this boat and we all want to get on as old sailors and uh, I'm sure we'll get our turn at some stage. So thank you very much for, for trialling and looking after and, and uh, bringing all those magnificent America's Cup winning skills to this wing sail technology and, and showing us how to do it. As part of uh, the America's Cup racing team, I'd just like to thank uh, Troy, Graham and Abby, who are uh, the, the soul of the little office up there, who have been here, um, thought about how we're going to manage this boat, the little things of just actually taking the wing down, how we're going to crane it. These are all new things that uh, you know, we haven't done before. We have to learn how to manage a, a wing that's up and wants to sail, wants to sail on the land. It's not going to... The wind's been kind to us today, but in um, normal circumstances, it's all new. It's not just we have the mast in the boat, we put in the water, we'll tow out and then we'll pull the sails up. This thing wants to go as soon as there's wind. And um, there's been a lot of process involved, um, quite a lot of design, and that's uh, all gone very well. So thank you for... The team at ACRM have put a lot of hours into making this happen and we've got some new recruits to help us manage the boat through the trials that are going to happen um, shortly. The AC45, this uh, is the forerunner to the AC72. We will be taking this boat and the other 
nine boats that uh, are being manufactured at the moment on tour and starting in in probably July in Europe um, with the America's Cup World Series that will comprise of eight rounds and then we will go and uh, we will move on into the AC72 in the future which was the America's Cup boat. Um, this is very much uh, a learning boat. We all need to learn about racing catamarans, racing wind sails um, and sailing with sails that we can't reef or change and the types of sails and a very new era for the uh, America's Cup. We have uh, a number of the competitors that have entered here today. We have Artemis, we have uh, Australia, we have um, Team Oracle and of course we have our our neighbours here from uh, Emirates Team New Zealand have been very helpful with this program as well. We very much look forward to the competition going forward and, um, and certainly a big part of this is all of the sponsors and the competitors that we have already and, uh, and we will be getting more. The entries, the America's Cup competition close um, on the 31st of March and the signs are that we will have many more than the six challenges and one defender that we currently have today. So um, we have a lot of interest from other people. Um, they're all around the world. This will be a truly international event and uh, I think all of those teams are dotting I's and crossing T's and, uh, and the, the feedback we get from those teams is that you know, this is a big change in the America's Cup, the World Series format, um, the types of boats. There's been a lot of speculation out there um, with this boat sailing, and I think a lot of that speculation has gone away that this really is uh, a fundamental change and a terrific result for going forward. One of our great partners in the America's Cup has, uh, you know, since my time in the America's Cup in 1983 has been Louis Vuitton. Uh, Louis Vuitton started sponsoring the Challengers uh, back then in Newport, Rhode Island, and I uh, raced the Sydney boat and I, uh, I raced against Bruno Triple in uh, the French boat. I remember on Bastille Day we went into the starting sequence um, with a guillotine and one of our crew being sacrificed on the foredeck. Um, which uh, arose the humour of Bruno on that particular day. But here we are, some uh, will be 30 years in 2013 that Louis Vuitton have been involved in the America's Cup and, and uh, continual sponsoring and promoting the event. And uh, I don't think we could have asked for a, a better sponsor and for Bruno to travel all the way down from uh, France to New Zealand today for this event. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. We look forward to going sailing. Bruno, you've said you're going to bring more wind. I've relied on you. Um, and hopefully we'll have a good sailing day out there today. Thank you very much.